Okay, so this is the last area that I wanted to show in March before things start happening in my garden. This is 7A zone, and it's Rhode Island. And nothing used to be happening much here, but I do love this hydrangea. It's so beautiful. It's blue and purple on the same branches, and it's probably about about eight, maybe ten years old now, so it gets pretty big. But when I am sitting at my table, it's like a picture window, and this is where I see it all the time in the winter, and I kept thinking, ugh, it's so depressing just to look out there. All my gardens are in other areas, and I never get to see anything. So last year, I decided to get these two hellebores. I think they're so pretty and cheerful, and I can see them from my picture window when I'm sitting having my tea or coffee. And the neat thing about perennials is they get bigger and better all the time. And at one point you do have to divide them usually. But last year, each one of these plants only had about three to five flowers on them. They were kind of sad. They had nice leaves though. So this year I just cleared out all the leaves, the old leaves. And they actually do have pretty attractive foliage to me. And I like them. I keep them up all year round until just about a week ago. But look at all those buds and blooms this year, just from the second year, from being here planted in March. So that's exciting. And then someday I can move them around, which is fun to do, like getting more plants out of your plants. And that's my dirty bird bath that needs to be fixed. <laughs> the cool thing about this bird bath, though, it's copper. So I like the fact that it's supposed to be naturally resistant to gunk. So you just clean it out and add new water all the time and you're good to go. But it's 41 degrees today, so I haven't done that yet for the birds. In this pot, I usually put coleus because it's full sun. So I'll plant coleus seeds, and then in the middle of summer, you'll see coleus here. And I had once put this up. I had morning glories here. But fun fact, did you know that morning glories attract rodents? We had neighbors in the back under their garage. I guess they had like a little rat family. So that year we did see rats like every day, about two or three, which I guess that is too much, right? But they would come up this path and they would eat the seeds under the bird feeder. My fault. But when I had the morning glories here, they crawled up and apparently they eat the seeds or the buds, seed pods. So we took those down. <laughs> that was pretty awful to see that from your window. But anyway, I tried a clematis here, a clematis, I don't know how to say that, but that didn't work here either. So I'm going to try that again this year. But anyway, down on this path, which again, it's March, it looks like nothing, which is kind of cool though, because you know something's going to be happening. Down here is a bleeding heart, which I planted last um, last March or April when I bought the other plants. So that will come back bigger and better this year. And then down this path, usually there are a couple of little hostas that grow. And then I have um, Solomon Seal that was given to me at one of the plant shares for our Facebook group, Buy Nothing Group. It's a wonderful group. Uh, whenever you want to get rid of something or you have something you might be searching for, people give freely. You just share. You don't have to buy it or sell it. You just say, hey, I have a bunch of plants. Does anybody want them? And people want them. And they pick them up. So right here, as you can see, it's underneath the bird feeder. And it's a lot of, I just do black oil sunflower seeds because I found that the other seeds did attract that cute little rat family. But I haven't seen them for a while, so either they're gone or whatever. Um, I didn't see them this year at all. So the seeds I have to rake out every once in a while. But the nice thing is they also suppress weeds. I don't know if you can see there's no weeds in this area. So I posted a picture once of the Solomon seal and the hostas and someone said, oh, your mulch looks so nice. <laughs> and I thought, hey, it does make a good mulch, doesn't it? So in the future, I might even try that. Maybe in the butterfly garden, I'll like save it up and put it over there and see what happens. Sometimes the seeds aren't fully eaten, so a sunflower will pop up in the sun. But that's okay. It's a garden. 
and I don't mind it. So anyway, thanks for letting me talk about my garden. Bye.